Hello guys and welcome back to another Gothic 2 returning guide with me Slivers FX and today we are going to join another one of the main guilds and that is the Water Mages. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk to Laris and he's going to bring us to the excavation. You might have already done this but in case you haven't, well, uh, he will take you all the way to the excavation you can leave everything to him if you so wish but once you're inside you actually have to kill a few rats a uh, sentinel or a guard an ancient guard or you can just bypass the guard if you want and there will be more rats and some goblin skeletons i am so advanced here at this point that uh i can pretty pretty much kill everything on my own so that's what I'm doing, even though sometimes I'm not getting a critical hit, but still, I have 60% weapon mastery on two-handed weapons. So uh, the spear that I have is dealing quite enough for the time being. We're going to talk to Sadras here, and uh, we're going to have a little flashback of us charging the Uritzel to banish the Sleeper from Gothic 1, if anybody remembers that. And if you have 15 Rhetoric, you can also use the third line that appears, and you will get one extra point at that. I already have over 50, so for me it doesn't matter. Uh, we go through the entire uh, the entirety of the dialogue with Satras, which, um, <laughs> well, you can also ask him if you can become a water mage in case you already haven't joined one of the main guilds. So basically, you will have to do some quests for them. There are three ways to do this. You can either find out who is selling weapons to the uh, to the bandits. You can recover where the missing people are by killing Dexter, or you can get uh, the ornaments to Nefarious. But if you do all the quests, you will also get more experience. Here I'm talking to Riordian because I would like to know more about the Will of the Wisp. In case you guys don't know, the Will of the Wisp is a very handy tool, amulet, especially in this mod because once you have everything set up and you uh, spawn it, it will just automatically pick everything for you. In the base game, it only shows you where things are. Here it picks it up for you, so once you have everything done, you can literally just have it spawn and it will pick up anything and everything along the way that you might kill or it's hidden, but not open chest that you still have to do yourself. Yeah. It's uh, Mixer here will teach us how to uh, read the ancient language from the tablets. And of course, Nefarious will tell us and give us a map of the ornaments that have been lost through time. And that's what we're also going to do in this little video. Make sure to also uh, pickpocket every mage in Chapter 1, because their pickpocketing success is super low at this point and once you get into chapter 2 it resets and you can pickpocket them again you just need a whole lot more dexterity i am doing the teleports quest over here just because i wanted to get it out of the way there's also two skeletons in the graveyard that i haven't cleared although i already did the uh, demon hunter guild but if you don't necessarily join them, you've never been here before. So this is a safe from before that. So these uh, skeletons and all the zombies are still there in case you watched my previous video. I will also upload a video on how to properly fight, uh, especially with two-handed weapons because they're slower. Because I have seen some people on my Discord channel have a little problem how to counter these uh, especially skeletons or humans that can block attacks you, you can uh, you can do this by timing it right but either way we'll make a separate video for that 
Orlan will also give us a key for the next teleporter. Uh, well, the door to the teleporter that's inside of this mountain range or cliff. And we're gonna finish this quest by talking to Me Merdarian. I think that's his name. <laughs> I keep uh, mispronouncing his name, but uh, I guess it's because it's a little weird. And you get 250 extra experience once you finish it. Once we're done with that, we're gonna go to Onar's farm and we're gonna start collecting the ornaments. And the first one is near the crossroad where you found Greg earlier. He's not there anymore. But either way, we're gonna spawn one of the uh, ancient guards or sentinels. And he will have one of the ornaments on his possession. Next up is going to be killing the bandits that uh, have the letter of who is selling the weapons to them directly, which will be Fernando. And that is part of the quest that can also get you into the Water Mage's guild. In case you want to do more than that, well, you know, you can do more than that. As I said in the beginning of the video, you can do a total of three quests for more experience. I also had to kill some of the animals and the uh, wildlife here, unfortunately. Goblins were always so scary in the beginning when I encountered them, the, the skeletons anyway. Now they're just, you know, a little, a little pain in the knee, not in the ass. <laughs> Once you get all those field raiders out of the way, you can save the game before you encounter the bandits that are a little harder to kill, but not so by much, at least not on the easy, on the easy mode. We're gonna just bow them down and uh, we're gonna kill the, uh, the leader with our melee weapon instead. This is also good for getting some extra cash early in the game, in case you're missing some. Once you get rid of all the bandit leaders, you can deliver their heads to Lord Andre, and he will give you quite a bit of a chunk of money for it. I believe there's at least 9, maybe even 10, um, that are alive, thanks. And you can get pretty much more than 10,000 gold by killing all the bandits. And some are easier than others, I have to say. And uh, some also carry additional quests with the, with the letters that they have on them. For example, this one here will also uh, have Elvridge uh, installed in his little tent. Once you talk to Elvridge, you can also open Lucia's ladder, ladder and uh, you, <laughs> you will finish the quest of where Lucia is actually located, which is basically with the bandits. She abandoned Corinnus and went with the bandits for some reason. And Elvridge, of course, is heartbroken, but in chapter two, he will actually, uh, no spoilers, marry somebody else. This uh, little bandit camp also has a uh, el elixir of strength, I believe. There's some. Uh, there's also some hides on the floor. There will be plenty of stuff in the chest, and it's a good chunk of money altogether. Uh. Now we're gonna ask uh, Laris again to take us through the to the dense forest in the east. And once you uh, basically plow through everything, all the wolves, all the meat meat bugs, and everything, you will spawn another one of these ancient sentinels. You can deal with it yourself if you want, or you can just lead it to Laris. Either ways, you'll get the same amount of experience, depending on the option you put before starting the game. Laris will then leave once you talk to him, but we have also one more ornament 
to go. And that is going to be one near Lobart's farm, which was already taken by the paladins because they tried to uh, engage with these little switches on the, uh, on the mini stone hench. So once you talk to Cavalorn, you also tell him that there nothing happened, no sentinel spawned. And you have to go to Lothar, which will have the last ornament that you need to deliver to Nefarious. After you're done talking to Lothar, you can then go to Vatras and you can tell him about the missing people. And in case you haven't opened Dexter's letter about Raven's orders, then you can get some extra experience. This is a little mini tip. If you have talked to a lot of people that have been missing somebody from the group or the bunch, then you will get extra experience for each and every one you talk to. For example, I got 350 here. I could probably get even more if I talk to every single one of them. I just don't know what the maximum amount is. I haven't opened the letter here yet, but I do believe that I still have to talk to Fernando before I talk to Martin about the weapons dealer. About how much ask he I've got those. I've got an. Fernando is the weapons dealer that has been distributing weapons among bandits because he's been having a hard time with business. But neither way, we have to put him to jail. So we're going to go see Martin now. And we're going to tell him about it. And this is going to be also a good chunk of experience that we're going to get. Basically for arresting him and then also telling Vatras about it. Also make sure that you have read all the letters that you have in your inventory at this point. So you get extra experience. You can also get some new information and you might also get some rhetoric points uh, in case you have missed something. AP. Martin will then lock up uh, Fernando. If you have found all three clues, then uh, this quest is pretty much done. You just have to tell Vatros about it and you'll get another 1000 experience points just for this simple quest. Of course, I also read Dexter's letter here. So now we can tell him everything that we know. That's the first two quests that we have done that could get us into the Water Mages Guild. And the third one will also await after this. We now go to Nefarious and deliver the ornaments. He will be very happy to see them, of course, and immediately they will try to go and use them back together like they were supposed to. You can now freely talk to Satras about joining the Water Mages as we have done. All the free quests that were required to, well, one of the three, but the free is for extra experience. I just don't believe I received any extra experience for doing the portal quests. Uh, but nonetheless, we've done all three quests that are, are an option to join the Water Mages. You get the novice robe, which is blue, but contrary to the fire mages novices, you can actually start learning how to use runes as a novice here. You get the uh, the battle staff. You also get the 
if you ask him, you can start learning how to make ice runes. And uh, you can start using magic as a novice. It's obviously pretty um, straightforward because you are not a fully fledged magician yet. And that only happens when you go to Jarkandar. And that can take a while, especially if you want to clear up the whole map of Corinus. So, in this case, uh, I guess it's a little different than other guilds, especially the Necromancer and the Fire Magicians. You have to have different when it comes to modding, right? Anyway, we're gonna go back to Batras, and we're gonna ask him for the letter that we need for, uh, for Satras. But I sort of forgot that we actually need to talk to Lord Hagen before doing that. And by joining the Water Mages first, this guard at the front of the mayor's house will actually let us in to see Lord Hagen. Lord Hagen will then hear your story. Uh, you can talk to him about the Eye of Innos and ask him why the Paladins are in town in the first place. And eventually, you will come to the conclusion that you have to go to Jarkandar to continue your quest. I will backtrack uh, with the other main guilds here. I will not go to Act 2 as a guide. But for, sa for the sake of this video, I have to go so you guys can actually see that becoming a fully fledged water mage is by going to Jarkandar, talking to Satras about a raven and everything else. You will receive the rope, a new staff, and so on and so forth. So here we are with Satras, which uh, we delivered the letter to. He will then give us the ornament to unlock the portal. We go through the portal to Jarkandar, obviously. And uh, the story of the second chapter basically begins there. I always love the little mini cinematic within the game while opening the portal. And uh, it hasn't changed ever since I started playing this game. Here we gave a quick skip through of the entire dialogue that we have with him. And then we can finally ask him to become a fully fledged water mage as mentioned a few times before this video. As we open our inventory, we can see that we got our rope and we also got a new magical staff. It is not that special, but it will do for now. You can also find good stuff later on. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you like the video, and I will see you in the next one.